what's going on y'all it's king rancher 13 welcome back to the channel here today we are doing a few things but first before we get going i just want to say i appreciate y'all watching thank y'all so much for all your support and all the kind words as always please make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already and before we get going i've got to do a little plug here dieselcrate.com has reached out to us to sponsor this video so big shout out to diesel crate thank y'all so much for your support use my coupon king rancher 13 for 13 percent off or maybe it's 10 percent Ooh, it might be 10 percent so diesel crate has reached out to us and sent us out this as well so we're gonna do a quick unboxing before we get going on this video all right so dieselcrate.com they're a website that does a monthly subscription specifically to whatever diesel that you have a passion for or you have so when you're going through the monthly subscriptions, it gives you a choice to choose from Power Stroke, Cummins, or Duramax. They send you miscellaneous stuff. So I chose the Power Stroke one, and this is what they sent us. So let's see what's inside. Dun, dun, dun. Dig in the packaging, dieselcrate.com. Hey, make sure to go follow them on Instagram. And this is their website. And we'll have a link in the description down below. All right, well, first thing, solid cologne sample kit by Supply Matter. They fell off the paper here. But anyways, it's a sample with 001, 002, 003. And uh, 001 is the original. Ooh, let me smell this. I dig it, I dig <laughs> it. There's a, there's a certain smell that I actually really like. It. But it's pretty cool. I think this is for like maybe deodorants or something like that. It feels like a deodorant. That's, that's that. <laughs> oh, the second thing that we got is the ticket.com. Oh. Well, this isn't gonna work because y'all always tell me to put my seatbelt on. <laughs> but this is something that you stick in your seatbelt thing so your truck doesn't go ding, 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 and stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> it says, warning, this product neither promotes or, nor supports drinking and driving, nor is it intended to be used in a car seat occupied by a person. Refer to your local seatbelt laws before. <laughs> we know what it's for. Oh, but it is a bottle top opener. That's why they said don't drink and drive with the <laughs> seatbelt off. But I can drink a classic Coke. Right? That's true. Or root beer of some yeah. sort. Oh, cool. Sticker. Bald Eagles <laughs> and Diesel Power. Cool. Ooh. Waterless wash. That's pretty cool. I've actually wanted one of these for a minute now. Then you put this on top and then you can spray it. Spray. I think you spray the rag or you can spray the surface of the truck and then you use a microfiber towel. We're going to try this waterless wash out. This is made by VV Ash Premium Auto Care. I don't know what that is. Okay, <laughs> let's go. So I'm just literally gonna spray this. Let's spray some on this. This is a pretty muddy fender well, so. <laughs> pretty good. I mean, I don't, I don't know if water would have done better or... <laughs> I mean, I'm just being real. There's a little spot right there. I guess that's what it does. Yeah, really. Oh, um, Duke, oh. My. Duke Cannon Big Butt Brick. Big Butt Brick of Soap, <laughs> Junior. Smells like naval diplomacy. I don't know. Is that inappropriate? Mm, it's not inappropriate. Not made from France, it's made in the USA. Hmm, smells pretty so it's good. It's like a Revolutionary War reference. Naval diplomacy. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. But it smells good. And that's it. So that's kind of what a monthly subscription would look like to dieselcrate.com. So like I said, make sure y'all use King Ranger 13 and that helps support us and helps support Diesel Crate. I think they got some pretty cool stuff coming for next month's box. I think it's going to be a, a trucker hat with Diesel Crate on it and then um, I know because like I was saying, if there's Power Stroke, Cummins, or Duramax specific stuff. Um, they have t-shirts that come out every now and then, stuff like that. And then there's also different tiers. This was the lowest tier. So the higher tiers, sometimes you get like truck parts, stuff like that, pretty cool. So like, I think one goes up to like 80 bucks a month or something like that, which would be worth it because like there's some stuff in there, I think that comes out to a value over a hundred dollars. So pretty neat stuff, but let's get going onto the video, which is about this truck. And this truck is a local guy's truck. He actually owns the hardware store here in town. His name is Caleb Duke. And he just got this truck and he called me, uh, actually before he even got this truck, 
and was like, hey, let's, uh, let's get some things going for this thing. So what we're gonna be putting on this truck is a three and a half inch lift kit made by yours truly down in the description below. Also, we're gonna be putting on airlift airbag and it's gonna be a wireless remote. So I think we got some pretty cool content we're gonna film after once it's installed. This is a 2021 Lariat F250 power stroke, of course. And it's only got like, I think I just crossed 600 miles on it or something like that. It's a good looking truck. Just needs a little bit, and I think me and Caleb are on the same same kind of vision of the three and a half inch lift, the airbags, so he can pull his camper with his family. Actually, they're gonna go camping with his family this weekend. So, gonna be glad that he gets all that stuff done so that it's gonna be safe for them to take for travels wherever they're gonna go. That's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow morning. So, for now, for today, which is Tuesday, Tuesday the 20th, for Tuesday the 20th, is all we're gonna do. So, we're gonna get to tomorrow just like that. All right, so now it's the next day. We've got the back end put in, working on the front end. So while Trevor's helping me out with the front end, I'm going to be putting the back end on. We're going to be putting the load lift 5000 Ultimate Plus Series with the Wireless One. Really great kit right there. It's going to help him not have to squat in the back so much when he's pulling his fifth wheel. It's going to help him out with the load on the back end when he's pulling his camper. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get a clip of that in this video, but we'll, we'll get it some other time.
lift is on, not aligned yet, and we got the airbags in. So check it out. The Airlift 5000 Plus Ultimate Series installed. And what's cool about this kit is the wireless one compressor kit, as we've got right here. Yeah. And so now, right now it's at 5 PSI, which is the minimum PSI required at all times in there. So you can't go lower. So check this out, y'all. So you press any button to turn the remote on. And so it shows 5 PSI, it shows a little how far away you are. I'm gonna go ahead and put her up to, up to like 15. You see a little up arrow, which means it's going up right now. All right, it's at 15 PSI, and then check this out. I'm gonna put it back down to five. Just press and hold it, and it goes. Really handy kit. Actually, I think there's even a phone app that you can Bluetooth uh, to the module, which is going to be able to do the same thing that this remote does. So, lift is on. Looks pretty darn level to me in my eyes. Because the bags might be a little bit higher in the back end, uh, but it's going to be alright because he tows with it, so it's going to be all good. But anyhow, this is a finished product. We'll do a little bit of a walk around and once we get out of the shop, up once we line it. Okay, alright. We're going to air it up. Uh, Let's say about 50 PSI, of um, 50 pounds. All right, and there you have it, that's 50 pounds. And now we're gonna show you putting it all the way back down to five. I don't know about y'all, I think that's pretty neat. Hit that thumbs up button if you think that's pretty cool. Keep going. All right, slow down. A little bit more. Hold it right there. Let me crank it up and let let me see kind of how it goes. Might have to go back just. Just a smidge. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's call that good. All righty. So, finish up alignment. We've already taken on test drive. Drives great. Uh, the bags, I think, really actually help out having about five, maybe even 10 PSI in the bag, especially if you have a fuel tank or anything else in the bed. But anyways, guys, this is going to be it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for the next one. I've got a few things that I think we might do, but we'll see how it goes. Until next time, peace out.